So everyone, I'd like to provide some uh, spiritual advice from a former addict, and uh, that advice is find purpose. If you don't have purpose in life, then you won't have a guiding star for anything that you do. Now, as somebody who once pursued, um, you know, self-gratification through a number of avenues in the past, and, um, and completely relied on uh, substances and alcohol in order to get me to the next day or through one day, um, I could say that that was my purpose and that is not a purpose. But I saw that it is very similar to the purpose that a lot of other people have, but it's not drugs and alcohol and it's not as bad for you. Um, a lot of people are very concerned about making their next dollar, their next, um, their, their next paycheck or something like that, or trying to you know, get enough likes on a video uh, to make them feel like they've made an impact in, a, in one day or the next. Uh, now, how are these things related? Um, it comes down to uh, uh, tem what is temporary. Uh, these kinds of gratification are very temporary, and they are very short-sighted. Um, I've, I've tried to live my life as well day-to-day, trying to get enough money from a paycheck in order to uh in order to just you know pay certain bills or to uh to just uh, buy the things that I wanted to buy and that was my you know guiding star and unfortunately uh even if your paycheck is to pay for things that really matter even like your family uh there is a certain level of there's a certain level of emptiness just seeking after that money now even if you're doing it for things that matter like other people um, you, you also need a guiding star. You also need a purpose. Uh, if you're a parent, you want to provide for your children, that can be a very strong purpose. But I would recommend that, uh, you have a overarching purpose, a long-term purpose, if you will. Um, you know, whether it, if it's, uh, providing your kids, uh, you know, enough money to go to college in the future, building up savings for that, or whether it's trying to start a new career, or, uh, or one that I would recommend the most, a spiritual purpose. Um, now, long-term purposes are, are the, the great ones to have because you do all the little things that much better to achieve long-term uh, purpose goals, uh, if you will. Now, my long-term purpose is to try and reach out and contact as many people as possible, not so that I gain as much attention as possible, but to try and help as many people as possible. And, you know, to secure for my future as well, like many other people. But... Um, and, you know, the, the, the large purpose beyond that, uh, which is even higher than that, is, of course, to achieve uh, spiritual liberation uh, through my connection to the, the, the divine and my understanding of this world and uh, the nature of reality, what it's pushing us towards, why I, why I live, uh, what my purpose is in relation to the universe, trying to understand that. And um, that is another guiding star. So you can say that your guiding stars can make a constellation and, and form a general direction that you are, that you proceed toward. Um, but it does have to be overarching. Otherwise, all these small things won't add up to something big that that you're trying to do. Um, now, as far as spiritual purpose goes, um, I would highly recommend that you find who who you truly are. Now, what do I mean by this? Um, what you truly believe. Search throughout all spiritual traditions and all religions. Uh, try to try to understand the world through different perspectives. And once you find one that truly feels like that's you, or or just seems truer than any other any other explanation for existence, um, follow that. Make that your guiding star and head towards that full blast. And make all of these little parts that you do for you know either for yourself, for your family, or for so for society, or to uh, help other people, try and um, bring those together and make that a part of your long-term uh, spiritual goals. And uh, if you're in a form of spirituality where you don't help other people, um, I'd recommend <laughs> looking for another form of spirituality because uh, I find myself most free when I'm trying to help other people, when I'm trying to uh, not just benefit myself, but as many people as possible. And if you do that, you'll find you are freed from... Um, these these limiting desires that we have, but also these limiting these limiting goals is on the spiritual path. Um, there are very minute goals that people have, like okay, I'm going to be more patient. I'm going to be uh, more powerful. I'm going to have a better mastery of uh, magic or or spellcraft, 
and I find when I put my goals into that, um, they're vet, they're met very quickly, and I quick and I quickly realize that um, that there was no direction uh, at, at the beginning when I when I made this small goal, and uh, if there's no direction and that there is no overarching uh, purpose, then all of these small goals will kind of lead in random places. They won't head towards a direction. And the direction has to be very overarching. Now you can say, okay, well, I want to be a god. Uh, that is my overarching purpose. Uh, okay, but you have, to, you have to ask yourself, why do you want to be a god? <laughs> why do you want to gain enough spiritual knowledge and, and knowledge itself and power to be a god, even even politically, you could say I want to be a god. I want to be, you know, worshipped by people for my, you know, political acumen and uh, and what I say and who I am, and I want them to view me as basically a god. Um, you have to ask yourself, why do you want that degree of power spiritually or politically? You have to ask yourself, okay, what are the desires that feed into this? What are the desires that I subconsciously want uh, pacified? Uh, in order to reach these goals. And, uh, you know, a lot of the time it has to do with greed, it has to do with uh, fear of being weak, it has to do with um, uh, a, f a fear of death. I mean, uh, the fear of death is a guiding principle for a lot of people uh, when they try to gain power, uh, you know, through spiritual traditions. And you really have to decide, okay, all of these, all of these desires are very, are very minute and they're very much based on uh, viewing myself as less and I need to be more um, and I think that it's far wiser to realize who you truly are right now than to think that you're nothing now or or far less now than you need to be and in order to gain you know true significance of self true admiration of self and true acceptance of self you have to gain a certain amount of power or wealth or uh, or fame um, when you try to just sit down and not have these external factors be your goals when you try to make internal factors or internal liberations rather your goals then you find that nothing in the external world can hold you back because you already have everything that you need all you need to do is meditate on who you truly are um, gain knowledge from people who don't need a single dime in order to be uh, in order to be great in order to be um, on a path towards uh, absolute liberation, spiritual or political or financial. And the sadhus in India who renounce everything and don't own anything, and just uh, they might beg for food or they might, you know, get food out in the wilderness and they just don't own anything. They're the, some of the most wealthy people on the planet because they are not confined by the fears of not having this or that, and they're not confined by the uh, the desires to to be more than what they already have in and of themselves. So my, my suggestion as somebody who used to be an addict is to, is to examine yourself, realize that every potential that you could possibly achieve in the external world, you already have, but it's the internal properties. It's internal properties that are far beyond these external, uh, these external, you know, gates of gold or, or mansions or, or power, fame, uh, people looking up to you and wanting that or you being in charge of people. If you conquer your, conquer your need to conquer, if you conquer your, your feeling of weakness as you are and wanting to gain things in the external world to satisfy something, then you are far more wealthy than the, than the average person on the planet, the vast majority of the planet. Because you don't need those external uh, trinkets um, to to be some to be somebody, you can truly be yourself once you figure out who that is. Anyway, this has been advice from a former addict, um, and my overarching message is to find an overarching purpose and try and be and also to try and be satisfied uh, with who you are and trying to seek that who you truly are instead of. Instead of thinking that you can gain things externally and that'll that'll make you something, uh, because vast majority of the time we are very disappointed by that. Uh, look within, brothers and sisters. Look within. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video at all, hit that thumbs up down there. If uh, you want to comment, you want to continue the conversation, you want to disagree with me, shoot it down in the comment section below, and I will see you in the future.